Youth runner here with uh, the women from uh, Niwak, Colorado. Winner of another fourth consecutive uh, girls uh, sweepstakes championship here at the Desert Twilight Festival uh, at Toka Sticks. Uh, uh, not counting the, uh, the pandemic here, it's technically f uh, five in a row overall, but when they're uh, competing at the level that they are, uh, we tend to lose count uh, of the brilliance of, uh, of, of this group. Uh, we're going to hear from every single one of them, uh, just uh, talk about where the gr uh, group's at right now. Introduce yourself. I'm Wendy. Wendy, uh, uh, obviously, you know, it's, uh, especially as a newcomer, right, like you get to see how, sp how special uh, uh, this, uh, this environment is, but more than just, you know, the, the racing aspect, just, you know, the, the camaraderie, right? Like, you know, everybody getting to travel together and whatnot. Like, how meaningful was that for you? That was really meaningful. This is like my first uh, race of the season, and it was really fun um, being here with the team and everything, like, just brought back everything. Uh, what kind of patience is it required for, for you to, you know, be able to, uh, to watch all of them and, you know, kind of waiting for your opportunity? Um, it's like a lot of patience, but I'm like super grateful for this team. Um, watching them race just gives you like the motivation and stuff like that. Awesome. Then, well done. Um, Introduce yourself. I'm Hayden Flynn. Hayden, <laughs> Hayden uh, just uh, in, 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 in terms of uh, the, uh, the, the group, you know, being able to showcase uh, this level of depth, right? Everybody, you know, whether it's sweepstakes, you know, championship, like everybody gets uh, an, a, an opportunity and, you know, really being able to take advantage at sea level on a fast course, like how meaningful is that for you? It's just so fun to like run with this team and it just brings up so many great memories and yeah. Uh, it, it, I mean, obviously the, you know, the group goes to Wyoming early on, but like, you know, but do you just see like how much the group has you know, continued to become even more cohesive since then? Totally, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Introduce yourself. I'm Zoe Zabel. Zoe, uh, just in, uh, in, in, in terms of, you know, how, like, we're essentially a little bit more than a, you know, a month out you know, uh, from, from the postseason. You know, obviously, you know, uh, nothing is, is, is promised, nothing is, is guaranteed. Everybody's, uh, you know, competing for spots. Like, yeah. you know, how significant are opportunities uh, uh, like this where everybody's you know on the same level you know com uh, competing at sea level that well, again regardless of what race you're in like everybody has a chance um it's just amazing like it's so awesome to be able to run with these like girls and they're just so inspiring so i'm really grateful to like have this opportunity to run with them fantastic um i'm alan foster in uh, in, uh, in terms of uh just being able to apply the uh, the training you know, and then, you know, getting in to a race that, you know, that uh, unlike a lot of the you know, courses that you compete on in Colorado, like but you don't really have to, you know, to, I know there's you know, some dips and some tight turns, but you don't have to deal with a lot of hills and, uh, and whatnot. Like how much of a rhythm did you feel like you, you were able to develop out there? Uh, I felt like it was a real honor to get to come here and that like the, the racing course was really good for PRing. So yeah. I and, felt like it was easy. And, uh, and, then, and especially, like, especially in, in the third mile or, you know, or that, that last K, you know, obviously, which is more of a challenge when you're competing at elevation. Like, uh, uh, did you feel like the, the body responded well? Yeah, for sure. Congratulations. Thank you. Woman that needs no introduction uh, in this state or any other state, uh, Addie, uh, 1641.3. Uh, just in, in terms of what you felt like you learned from here last year, because obviously this was a one-off last year, and then obviously Southwest went over to County Run. This is kind of, you know, part, part one of two. Uh, is, is that good for you and the group just to understand like, hey, whatever we might need to still adjust or whatever, like we're gonna have another chance to do it and not have to figure out another course? Yeah, I think it's so beneficial for us to come out here and race a course like this. It's such a fast course, um, it's under the lights. It's so different from the races we get to experience in Colorado, we're running on different terrain, it's like up mountains, it's at altitude. So I think coming down here to sea level, it really boosts our confidence and I think it'll be very crucial, um, it'll, it'll be very beneficial for us at NXR. And I think just having our whole team here, we've had um, quite a few girls injured. So having all of our girls here racing together, it's so special, it's such a great team bonding moment. And I think it's gonna set us up for great success at NXR. I mean, obviously you've been around the group long enough like to understand not only for you personally, but the group, like just the value of patience, right? And what the group looks like in Wyoming isn't gonna be what the group looks like in Arizona, isn't gonna be what the group looks like at State or, you know, Arizona. So, I mean, but just how, how special is it to be able to look to your left and look to your right and to be like, 
this is everybody, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we have such a young team this year. I think it's going to be very exciting to see us grow as a team. I think that's something um, you don't get to experience very often. Like I came on my freshman year, me and Anna, and we had such a strong team already um, developed, you know, like kind of when we came on. So it was kind of like you stepped on and it was already it was already developed. But like now we get to have a team where we can all be together, like watching us develop all together. It's, it's a really special thing. And I think that our greatest races are yet to come too so um, I think it's very exciting to see what we're gonna do in the future and what we've already done awesome congratulations thank you Anna Proc I'm Anna Proc <laughs> uh, just, uh, in, in, in terms of you know you uh, really being able to because uh, you know, I mean obviously last year is something that you know will probably never be duplicated by Nywater or anybody ever again you know to go one two three four five right but I mean obviously just everybody you know, racing to their potential, like racing to their identity. How important was that? Not just you know for for you, for Addy, for the whole group tonight. Just be the best version of yourself. Like we don't need to. It's all that one through five's already been done. We don't need to do that again. Like let's just go out there and have fun and, and just be the best version of ourselves. Yeah, I think this meet is a really cool opportunity to just see where we're at and kind of get to just celebrate all the training that we've been doing. We worked so hard throughout the summer and into the early fall, so it's just a really great indicator of where we're going to be at um, during NXR and just gets us excited about postseason. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Elena. Elena, uh, obviously, uh, when I was talking with Wendy and some of the others earlier about patience, you certainly know uh, what, what, what that's all about. Like just how, uh, I mean, not only the competitive aspect, but just how good is this for your, uh, uh, for your soul, like you know, just uh, to, you know, to see the team, you know, cohesive and starting to see more of a version of you know, of, of what we're going to see come, you know, November 2nd at State and ultimately back here on November 23rd. Well, I think it's really great to have the whole team together. Um, like Addy mentioned, a lot of people have been injured, so it's really great to have the whole team running and racing. And I think we have a lot of good things to come. Awesome. So it's super fun meet. Uh, uh, how, how, how did you feel like you, you personally responded to the challenge tonight? Um, I think it was really fun to see where we're at with the competition and just see what we can still do as well. Uh, can you see that the <laughs> Niwot boys are still the Niwot boys? <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Elise. Elise, uh, just, uh, in, 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 in terms of, you know, so many people have, have, have had an opportunity, maybe not always by choice by, you know, by Coach uh, Christensen, but obviously by circumstance, you know, just because, you know, the, not, not everybody's always been you know, available thus far. But how much do you feel like the group has learned that it's just like, look, again, nothing's promised, nothing is guaranteed. And if you're being called upon to be in that varsity seven or varsity 10, as it might be in, in some of the other races, like, you know, take, adva like, take advantage of the opportunity. Like how, how important has that been for the growth of the group thus far? I think the group has really grown a lot, especially since last year in the summer again like we're such a young team and it's so exciting to see what we get to do and to be on like a team trip together which is so amazing and exciting and uh and you know regardless of you know of uh, of, of who's available or who's graduated like the fact that as i pan back here that holding the trophy again right like i said four years in a row technically five yeah. if we eliminate 2020 like how significant is that? Is that for uh, for this program to continue to build on that? It's just so amazing that we have such depth in this program, and very few teams are able to do that. Where a lot of the seniors leave, and all the like freshmen and like people younger, or older are able to build the team back up to what it like can be. Yeah, absolutely. Well done. Introduce yourself. I'm Scarlett Park. Scarlett, uh, great to see you. Uh, performing at such a, uh, an elite level, obviously, always great to see three Niwot women in that individual, you know, recognition up there. And then, uh, in, in addition to, uh, uh, to the team, how much do you, f uh, you feel like, you know, if, if I'm comparing, so, you know, late September in, in past years until now, like just, how, you know, how, how good are you, are, uh, are you feeling about uh, where you're at, you know, still with so much growth in front of you? I think like the team is just like so like supportive with each other that like it's honestly like I feel like it's hard to like focus on yourself. And just like you just get better as like you go and you're not really focused on yourself you're more like focused on the team and like helping the team and just like having fun with the team and then like like supporting yourself along the way like right just like come and uh, and so i i love uh, the fact that like this group is just so unselfish you know and so thoughtful and, and so kind so i ask it like in the sense of 
how you're contributing to the team. Like how encouraging is that, has that been knowing what you're giving it's to this like, group? It's just so cool to like know that like you're helping the team and like it's like so cool to like watch other people be happy for you and like it's just like such like a fun opportunity. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Introduce yourself. I'm Eloise Boyd. Eloise, uh, just, uh, uh, the, uh, the fact that the group is you know, so familiar with you know, whether it was once upon a time 4A and now 5A in Colorado, like just how good is it? You know, I mean, it's still incredibly competitive, but just to see, you know, some of those faces that will have to be much more familiar, you know, come November 23rd, but the competition is still great. Like how good is that, that it's not the same old, same old in terms of familiarity of, of, of other you know, schools or other coloration kits, but it's also the same familiarity in terms of high level competition. Like how, how, how special is it to kind of find that balance when you come down here? It's really cool to just see the different levels of competition that are out there and to really just push ourselves to be just the best we can be. We know who is here and we know that it'll be a tough battle, but we can like, we'll just put our best foot forward and push and do all we have. Uh, how encouraged are you about the, uh, the step forward that the team took tonight? I'm so like fulfilled. I feel very good and I feel hopeful that we can accomplish a lot that the past teams have done. Congratulations. Introduce yourself. Avalon Beltran. Oh, Avalon, how we've missed you so much. Like I said, Alina, uh, the same way, just the group is whole when, uh, when, uh, when you're here. Uh, it just, and it seems like you know, there's, there's no better place to kind of put all those pieces of the puzzle together than Arizona. Yeah. Whether it's on September 27th or especially on November 23rd, how, how, how good is this for your soul and how, how good is it to be arm in arm with these girls? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Like we just had a workout and like it felt so amazing last Saturday when we were all together and like tumbling and everything is so fun as a group. And I asked obviously Elena, I asked Wendy about patience. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, obviously you know like what the rewards are and can be because you've seen it throughout, uh, throughout your career but just you know just trusting in the process trusting in these incredible women trusting in the coaching staff and whatnot like how significant you know or, or how you know vital has that been for you thus far yeah patience is like so important um in the season just like as you're advancing and building up training especially so you got to be patient great job and i'm ellie autumn in, uh, in in terms of you know, Coach Christensen and these women having the trust and the belief in you, right? I mean, those those spots in the sweepstakes race, you know, uh, I mean, not what makes it look so easy and so routine, but uh, but like there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes just to even be on that starting line, let alone perform. Like, uh, just can you put words to that amazing smile? I'm just so grateful for this team and for this opportunity. Like, like. I just couldn't have done like any of this without these girls, and I'm so grateful to just be here today with everyone. I love it. It just, I mean, <laughs> we we know you know how de how demanding and challenging uh, uh, the workouts are, but like you know, it's it's another thing to be able to simulate it in a race, right? Like you feel like you learned some really good things about yourself tonight. I did, yeah, and I just think it's like so special to get to celebrate this with all these girls, and it's it's not our time, but rather the fact that we get to just spend this together. So I'm just so grateful. Fantastic. Uh, love, uh, love the heart. Uh, love the passion for this group. Congratulations. And last but certainly not least. I'm Elsa Bergen. Elsa, and uh, just in, uh, in, in, in terms of, uh, like this group doesn't need to remind anybody, whether it's in Colorado or any other state, how, how, good, how good they are. But like, do, you, do you feel that, uh, that, that this group is in a different place? tonight than they were even last week at Lions? Yes, 100%. I think that like us, like every day that we spend together more and every day that we practice and work hard together, like we become more of a cohesive team that's like willing to do anything for each other. Awesome. Uh, and uh, obviously still so many more memories and moments to be able to share tonight because as yes, coach kelly definitely. said this group isn't going to go to sleep anytime soon no, not at all. so like how special is it like is the camaraderie aspect of it outside of the running it's it's good yeah. it's really good we all we're all really good friends and it's just great to like have these people like in in my life so fantastic <laughs> now what congratulations again uh four championships in a row technically uh five uh rewriting history once more at the desert twilight festival ladies congratulations Thank you.